you asked for five dollars, you got mine right now. <laughs> Drop your website. This is no, we're not shouting out here, folks. We're not shouting out. I don't know. I read this morning you have like four houses. Would you be willing to give up some of that so that we middle Americans can get some tax cuts? Facing New Hampshire voters isn't easy. And to observe the five presidential candidates here up close is to see five remarkably different approaches to the world of the campaign trail. It won't be like this again for a long time. New Hampshire is one of the last stops that require retail, on the ground, face-to-face -face campaigning. Pretty soon, you won't be able to walk up to Mitt Romney and say, give him a kiss. I like the personal touching. The political stuff on TV is just political stuff. If I look somebody in the eye, I can tell if you're lying to me or not. Here's a look at the five men crisscrossing New Hampshire. Rick Perry, who is skipping the state, was not included. This is really, this is something. To cover Mitt Romney is to see a campaign operation operating at full capacity. Every attendee gets a sticker, and on Friday night at least, a warm plate of spaghetti. To warm up the crowd, Mr. Romney almost always has a high-profile supporter along to sing his praises. So why would a conservative governor from a southern state want Mitt Romney to be president? Because I need a partner in the White House. As the frontrunner, Mr. Romney's campaign always seems a little bit big for the small-time stops of New Hampshire. As he waited to greet those lined up for dinner Friday night, the media crush scared off any but the most intrepid voter. Soon enough, one of Mr. Romney's many aides stepped in and the governor was whisked away. For John Huntsman, it's a little different. He's the only one that came here to this area to talk to the seniors and he needs, the rest of them need to come to us too. I mean, if they don't want to be bothered with us, why should we bother to vote for them? Grassroots campaigning is still relevant. You can't Facebook and Twitter yourself to political success. It really does take work on the ground. His entire campaign rests on doing well on the Granite State, and he is creeping up in the polls here. But it's unclear how all this work will pay off. Even after traveling all the way here to the northern part of the state, he still hasn't locked down Virginia Crow's vote. I'm still on the fence. I want to see how he comes off with the rest of the candidates. Then I'll make my decision. Hello, how are you? Good to see you. Rick Santorum is the candidate with all the fuss around him. Voters in the media are trying to figure him out, and Mr. Santorum himself is trying to figure out how to adjust to his new status. You guys got to keep moving, please. Small retail stops have become matters for the fire marshal. <laughs> And it's no longer possible to take every question at the town hall meeting. I'll tell you what, I, there's, so, there's so many questions. We'll keep going for a while, and hopefully I'll wear you down. As a recent town hall meeting neared its third hour, it turns out even the famously engaged New Hampshire voters have their limits. As you can tell, I really enjoy doing this, and I could do this for a long period of time. But uh, I'm, I'm try, I don't want to try your patience. So... Ron Paul can always turn out his followers. He filled the Nashua airport hangar on Friday with hundreds and hundreds of screaming fans. Events like this one feel more like a concert than a political gathering, with maybe the most unlikely headline act ever, a 76-year-old slightly doddering teacher who has been around forever. You can wait in the comments. When I started this New Hampshire. Finally, there's Newt. He is always surprising, such as on Sunday at a packed town hall event specifically to court Hispanics, not a traditional trove of potential Republican primary voters in New Hampshire. We are really campaigning to reestablish the dynamics of the kind of, of future that we want for the whole country. With his trademark professorial approach, Mr. Gingrich likes to show off his knowledge of even the most local of New Hampshire issues. Let me start with, uh, with, with a couple of immediate New Hampshire issues. The first is this question of, of uh, the Northern Pass project. The, uh, the two boys, I just got them shotguns for Chris, and I got a couple of Weatherbees. Soon enough, Tuesday in fact, the show will be over, and the campaign will move on to bigger stages. It will soon become a TV-driven ether zone of media otherness. But for Friday night at least, Mr. Romney shook hands and had a warm spaghetti dinner as he rode across New Hampshire. Or so he said at least. Not yet, but I'll take some on the bus. <laughs>